Welcome back. We've conjured up our Destiny and Dilemmas panel again with astrologer Gigi Zosnowski, numerologist Michelle Buchanan and psychic medium Sue Nicholson. Thank you ladies for coming on the couch today. Thanks. Thank you. It's not about me, it's about our viewers. We're going to start with Sharon. She says, my husband walked out on my daughter and I a few years ago and I brought up my daughter solely until she also decided that she wanted a life of her own at the age of 19 and she left as well. We do not have a relationship at all at any level and she doesn't wish to have anything to do with me anymore. She blames me for everything and hates me. Uh, I pine for her each day and I hope and pray that she comes back to me. I love her to bits and just want a relationship with her. Please help Sue. Okay, right. You know, I was channeling this information last night and I was bringing both of you in and, yeah, there is so much trauma, but I feel with your daughter, it's like she looks at you and looks and thinks, well, why do we have to stay in this energy? And so the thing is, it's like she just wants to get away, she wants to run away, she wants to hide, I feel like that. And it's like she blames you. You're not the person to blame, OK? I do feel in time she will come back. She needs to settle down, sort herself out. But the one thing I want to say to you, Sharon, is you need to do this. If we focus, because focusing on the negative things, never coming back, etc. So what I want you to do is get a photograph of her. When, you know, at happy times, find something there. I want you to hold it. I want you to visualise her coming in. You know, imagine her coming closer to you. Every day you do this. It's a power of the thought, and you need to get onto that. You need to see her in a beautiful pink light. She needs a lot of healing at the moment. And yes, she is angry, but you know, she'll be okay. So please don't think she'll ever come back. You've got to keep that hope there. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Gigi, what's in the stars? Well, Sharon, I looked at your relationship chart in reference to your daughter's chart, and it certainly gives us a lot of information, especially with regard to the way your daughter perceives you. She actually does see you as somewhat aggressive or domineering, irritable, judgmental. So perhaps be aware of those things in future interactions with her or with those in your life. Uh, as well, you know, perhaps look at your behavior and how you do connect with others, how you do express yourself. That could perhaps give you some insight into how you are relating with others uh, and just in general kids leave home uh, don't take it personally don't go into that martyr kind of syndrome realize that she is perhaps an adult now she needs to express her independence and her true joy let her do that in the meantime if you have that emptiness syndrome go out and do some volunteer work you have wonderful things in your chart coming up for the next few months that will help you to do that Thank you very much, Michelle. What do the numbers say? Well, what the numbers say is um, you're a seven life path, Sharon, and what that means is you think a lot. You can't help thinking over and over and over and focusing on, you know, what has happened. The main thing is, just touching on what Sue said about the power of thought, is basically whatever you're focusing the, your attention on the most, due to the law of attraction, you will attract back into your life. So by focusing all of your thoughts and dwelling on what has been that is unfortunate, you're, you're actually attracting more of that into your life and so you need to break the cycle by focusing on from now on with that photo like Sue suggested focusing on what you would rather have happen what you do want and visualizing how you want your relationship to now be with your daughter by doing that you will attract the opportunities to reconcile the uh, relationship so focus on what you do want rather than the misfortune of what has been and you can turn this around thank you very much Michelle now Kim right so our family is shifting to Australia. Actually, all the family is already there. I'm moving shortly after packing up the house. Is this the right thing for our family? My partner and I have made so many mistakes, especially financially, and I'm a bit scared to make another one. Gigi, what do the stars say about moving on? Well, Karen, seems to me it's a done deal. You basically stated that you are in the midst of packing. Your family's already over there. Uh, so I think it's basically, again, you know, a done deal. Uh, Relocation-wise, your charts certainly look uh, promising for Australia. It certainly does look like you will be more connected with family, more emotional, more intuitive. But just be aware at the same time that you might feel a little bit of a lack of independence, a need for a little bit more freedom. So be aware of that. When you do relocate, understand that you are coming into a whole new pattern of lifestyle and living, so be prepared. 
Michelle, is it a calculated risk? Oh, no, not at all. It's actually a fantastic move. Good on you. Well done. Here's the thing. Um, it's going to take a little bit of effort to get things exactly how you want them to be, but you can easily do this. What I'm getting for you, uh, Karen, is I'm getting um, follow your dreams. It keeps coming to me, as well as self-employment. If there are opportunities for you to set something up of your own, if you're already doing that here, but you want to continue on with it over in Australia, definitely go for it. If you haven't, then this is the time to follow your dreams. Whatever it is you want to do, reach out and make it happen because it will be favourable for you. Thank you, Michelle. Sue, what does Spirit say? Well, they're saying it's a really good year for you to go and do this. Be clearing out. I know you're clearing out your house, but the thing is, it's like you've been left there. You, you're overthinking things. It's going to bring you closer together with your partner. It's going to be absolutely great. You, you're going to work through this together. But if you go with any doubts whatsoever, you're going to sabotage it. I want you to go, right, this is a new opportunity. Spirit's opening this up for us. And you've got to go and do it, OK? So just don't worry about it. Enjoy the moment as you're moving through it. And it's going to be great, Kim. So all the best. Thank you so much, ladies. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank very much. You. It was a pleasure. Okay. If you've got a dilemma you think these three could help you with, whiz us over an email at goodmorning at tvnz.co.nz. Up next, the baby with...